what do you need me for? So, grabbing here. See, Margaret, I'm not gonna hurt you. So, see what I'm doing is I'm trying to have her hand flat and like this. And then. Oh, what? <laughs> Testing tomorrow. Many of you are on the list to test. So, uh, and I know some of you have are doing makeups, but still, let's get you as ready as you can. Yes, Caden, do you, uh, you you can unmute. You have a question? No. Um, oh. Am I in the testing? I do not think so, because you tested last time, didn't you? You tested in May. Yeah. So you're good. Um, but 
You know what, let's, I bet people have a lot of questions about uh, testing. Can you remember what your question is and we can get to it afterward? Because Jack, I see your hand is up. And, well, if it's just Jack, uh, do you want to quick unmute and, tell, and let me know what your question is? Uh, yeah, can I just get a glass of water? Go ahead, yes. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and mute people. And so let's go ahead. We're gonna start with Chen Ji. We have, you know, hang on, I'm gonna get my test list. Okay, I've misplaced it. So you're stuck living with my memory. Delia, I see you've got a question. Yeah, so what type of shoes should you wear to the test? Uh, really any kind of athletic shoe. You don't want to wear like a croc or a flip-flop, just something you can move around in. If you have a lightweight kind of a sneaker, some people like that better. I use just my ordinary sneakers. So don't have to worry too much about something fancy. Some people have Taekwondo shoes. Those are obviously going to be great because they're made for it. I, if I have a chance to use sneakers or Taekwondo shoes, at this point, I still prefer regular sneakers in spite of... Uh, so Sorry, another Delia? Question. Another question? Yep, go are ahead. We, um, are we supposed to bring our sparring gear? Yes. Red belts and blue okay. belts should bring their sparring gear. All right, so let's get to patterns because we can't practice sparring right now, but we can do patterns. I want to see people, let's see. Um, Sammy, ah, we have my test list. Thank you so much. So, no, no, we're good. Nobody will be testing with Chun Ji in this group, but that's okay. Still good practice. Everybody line up for Chun Ji. On your feet, boys. Ready. And, Sija. And everybody, paro. All right, let's move right on to Dan Gun. Ready, and Shija. Hold on, somebody's finishing. And done, done, paro. All right. Let, let me see. So we have, I'm looking at who's on the list. Let me see Dosan. Dosan Jumbi, ready. Sija. And paro. All right. So just to be clear, when you're testing, we're going to ask to see the uh, pattern for your belt. So that's the one we want to focus on. This is warming up in practice. So blue belts and red belts, uh, you're not going to be asked to do chunji on this test. Um, okay. Oh, 
So we have Margaret with us now. Let's go ahead with one yo. One yo, Jun B. So if you don't know one yo, do the pattern for your belt level. Ready and see John. So Dylan, you're kicking with the back leg. That's why you're struggling right there. Hello. So Dylan, just um, when you're coming back, it's circle block, kicking with the back leg, and punch, circle block. I'm running out of screen space. Front kick and a punch. So I think you, everybody else can uh, relax. Hello. Um, so Dylan, I think that was what was confusing you. It looked like you were punch, you were kicking with the front leg. All right, and uh, looking at the green belts. Now we don't have anybody testing who's here. Just double checking here, yeah, green and blue. So we don't have anybody testing with you'll go. Um, Emma, you have you'll go, correct? Emma T. And Amara, you have, you have a blue stripe? I can't see on the screen, it's a, okay. So that's good for you guys. Dylan, I want you to work on one of your patterns um, because you don't know you'll go yet. And everybody, um, Jack, can it wait or is it a question about what we're working on right now? Okay, you'll wait, but hold on to it. We'll get it at the end. So don't, I'm not, I'm not ignoring you. All right, so let's do you'll go. Oh, Allegra. Allegra, you have you'll go, correct? You're working on that? Okay, good. All right, everybody, who has you'll go? You'll go Jim B. If you don't have you'll go, do one of your earlier patterns. And C John. So people, for the people who are not testing, you may have questions about your patterns. It is, um, if it's okay with your family, coming into the school to do the, uh, either the one-on-ones or the group classes or coming to the park. I know not every family is doing that, but if they are, it will help you um, get more work on your pattern. Um, all right, so now we're at Junggun. But before we do that, I wanna do some basics because the, the blue belts and red belts, I wanna take another look, but I wanna do some basics. So everybody line up. <clears throat> and you left the forward fighting stance. Jump, go. Stepping forward. I wanna start with stepping behind the front leg side kick. This kick helps you with your side kick because when I step, my back is turned toward you guys. Then my, my body is more in position when up, when you are doing a board break with a side kick, you really want to turn your body sideways. And in fact, if you watch when somebody struggles, they're telling people, turn your body more, turn your shoulder in. Whether you're doing stepping behind side kick or back kick. So that's one point I wanna make. Then, for those of you of the higher ranks who may be asked to do a back kick, I'm gonna give you a very simple piece of advice. If you kick the board, oh look, I have one here. If you kick the board and you miss completely, so your kick is over here, move your whole body so that you're in position. 
It's going to look like the piece of wood is behind you. But if you're hitting and you're, if you're kicking and your kick is missing the board completely, that's because your eye needs to be retrained so that put the board so it looks like it's behind you and you may be on target that way. It's gonna feel weird, but it is as simple as, if I miss by kicking too far to the left, move my whole body so I'm not missing too far to the left. All right, that said, stepping behind the front leg, side kick. Ready, and, ta -da. Oh. Do. Oh. Set. Oh. Turn. Oh. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Set. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Now it's skipping. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. And turn. Oh. So remember the bottom of your, of your foot, you're trying to get your bottom of your foot going toward the target. So I want to do stepping behind side kick again because I like the way it's got everybody's body in the right place. So when the kick comes out, the bottom of the foot comes out much more easily. If you're breaking a board with a side kick or a back kick, that's the trick is turning that body some more. So stepping behind side kick. I know you guys can skip, but I want you to feel how different that is, how that sets you up. And ready, stepping behind side kick. Hana. Uh oh. Do. Uh oh. Fighting stance turn. Uh oh. Hana. Uh oh. Do. Uh oh. Oh, I'm, look, I'm seeing some great side kicks. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Now let's go back, let's make it skipping. And, hana. Oh. Do. Oh. I'm seeing a lot of improvement. Taylor, I like that better. Marina and Kayatan, I like that a lot better. You're getting your body turned more. Fighting stance turn, oh. same thing. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. And turn. Oh. Delia, Charles, I like what I'm seeing. Think about, Charles, think about picking that knee up some more. In order to get the knee up, it's, off, it's often tied with the foot. I struggled for a long time to get my knee up because I wasn't turning my foot enough. All right, let's do a little bit more of skipping side kick. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Now, skipping front kick. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. And turn. Oh. Now, skipping front turning kick or skipping turning kick. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. And turn. Oh. So now I want you to do skipping front kick, then a skipping front turning kick. So you want to feel those two things being different. Ready? And. Hana. Oh. So skipping front kick and a skipping front turning kick. Good. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Do. Oh. Oh. Turn. Oh. Hana. Oh. Turn. Oh. Do. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Now, more challenging. Skipping front turning kick followed by skipping side kick. Hana. Oh. And turn. Oh. Do. Oh. Turn. Oh. So when you're trying to do a skipping front turning kick, then a skipping side kick, they start out very similar. It's much harder to make them look and feel like different things. It's all in the body placement. So, back me up a little bit. When I do my skipping front turning kick, my heel is pointing toward the camera, and my knee is pointing more toward the camera. 
When I do a skipping side kick, my knee's gonna come up closer to my chest, closer in front of me, this way. Otherwise, it's not gonna come out in the right place. So, skipping front turning kick, skipping side kick. Ready, and, hana. Oh. Turn. Oh. Caden, why don't you go, I wanna see your kick too. Do. Oh. That's better. Turn. Oh. Hana. Oh. Go ahead, Chase. Turn. Oh. Do. Oh. Fighting stance, turn. Oh. Now it's the back kick. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Set. Oh. Neck. Oh. And turn. Oh. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Set. Oh. Neck. Oh. Fighting stance, turn. Oh. And step forward, paro. All right, it's time for Jungun. Jungun Junbi. And Sijan. Hello. All right, and relax. So, um, Kidus and Jason. Um, so, when judges are looking at this, they're looking to see the difference between your L stance and your walking stance, showing that back and forth. Now, um, I'm trying to find you on the list to figure out, because I, I, if I can't see blue stripes, I certainly can't see red stripes. Um, ah. Jason will be testing with Tege. Kidus, you will probably be asked Jungun. So when you go through it, make sure, um, make sure to show that difference in the stances. Now, my red belts with black stripes, when you are at your black belt test, this is one pattern I can almost guarantee you, you will be asked to do. So let's repeat it. And so for all my black stripes, I want you to do the same. When you're coming back, so when you turn and you're going walking stance, L stance, and you're kicking, and you're going back and forth, L stance to walking stance, walking stance to L stance, I really want you to show that, because this is going to be, it's an important part of the curriculum. Amara, please don't do that, that's kind of, thank you. Um, so that's an important part of the curriculum. You do, when you do Chun Ji, when you're brand spanking new, that pattern also is about L stance versus walking stance, but it's so simple, it's so easy. You get to Jungun, there's so much, to get right. There's so much in there. It's such an interesting, fun pattern. So enough talk. Let me see your jungun. Everybody who's got it. Red belts, blue belts. Ready. And if you don't know jungun, if you're a uh, white, yellow, green, I want to see you do one of your patterns. Ready. And see ya. And paro. All right. Tege. Tege has, has a couple things. One, 
me get myself centered. You want to have a nice, big W-form block. Uh, some people call it a mountain block, and Master Kim will say, well, you're not going to block a mountain with that. Make sure your hands, see how my hands are, my palms are facing me? You want to make sure that your palms are facing you. So Delia, I don't know if you can see, I don't know what view you've got. Your hands are down here, I want them up here. So see how my arms are parallel to the ground. That's gonna give it a much stronger block, much more effective block. The other thing is when you get to the end section, so you can check that in the mirror when you have a chance. Go into your bathroom, close the door, nobody will see what you're doing. When you get to the end section, I want big movements. You really can't be too big when you're going low guarding block, circle block, and then step in, low guarding block, and one, two, three. I don't know, sometimes the video gets choppy and you can't see quite how big my arms are. When I'm doing that, I am stretching my wingspan as much as I can. You, you wanna be super dramatic. If you feel like one of those opera stars who gets on stage and she's just taking over and being super dramatic, that, if you feel a little ridiculous on how big your motions are, you're probably getting there. And I've said that to a lot of people already, I know you've heard it before, but it's true. When I see this, and I see circle blocks that are just in your lap, my circle block, I'm coming all the way around, I'm trying to illustrate better. And look how high my hand is, and I'm making a big sweeping motion, but it's powerful. I'm doing it slowly now to give you the illustration of that size. I thought they were behind my back illustrating. Yes, they're illustrating size as well. So let's go ahead with Tege. Two pointers, remember, make a big strong W form block and your circle blocks, that whole end section, big wide motions. Ready, Tege, Jumbi, Sijang. Okay, so I'm gonna say, sh you can relax, yeah. Caduce, you have the misfortune of being so very tall that it's very obvious when your hand motions aren't very big. Um, so that end section, are you, are you clear with what, what, where you're going and what you need to do? Because I wasn't sure if you maybe had a question, okay. Um, I do wanna see Tege again, but in fact, what I'd like to do is let our, Red bells, oh, is somebody have a question? No, I heard somebody unmute. Um, I wanna go ahead and, um, I was gonna remute again. Uh, I wanna go ahead to Huarang. So now we have some new red belts who don't have Huarang yet. If you can continue with Tege for today, um, for, our, for our red belts, I wanna see Huarang. Kidus and Jason, Tege again, and you're our only blue belts so if I, that I can see. All right, everybody has an assignment. Parang, Tege, if you are, if you don't, if you're a green, yellow, or white belt, work on one of your other patterns. Ready, Shija. Good, Charles. Really sink into those punches. Same with you, Taylor.
Hello. All right, I'd like to repeat the same. How are we for time? Yeah, I wanna repeat the same. This is also an important pattern because it doesn't repeat very well. It does, it's not like, uh, it's not got a lot of easy repetitions. So I'm skipping around trying to see people, see if I can help out. So same assignment as before, ready. See done. That's better, Charles. I like those punches like that. Oh, Jack, oh. that's good. We've got some patterns taking a little while. If you're done, just stay there. Caduce, I like that last one better. They were, they were bigger. If you can go bigger, that would look even better. If you're five foot five, like I am, I can get away with a little knot stretching my arms. You have such beautiful long limbs. That grace there is really gonna be, it's gonna emphasize if you can make even bigger motions on that end part, it's gonna really knock people's socks off. They're gonna think it's amazing. All right. And last but not least, my black stripes, Chun Lu. All right. I'm trying to figure out, let me see who I've got who's got stripes. Taylor, Charles, Jack, Jace, Delia. Oh, we got a nice, a nice, a lot of you. All right. Chun Lu, Jun Bi. Everybody else pick another pattern? Ready. Jason Jamari, which one of you is doing it? I can't see either of you. Okay, Jung Mu, ready. Si Jan. I can see you've been working on that. It looks nice. You have a question? Can I get some water? Please? Yes, go ahead. Okay. So we have a little bit of time. Um, I do want to do Chun Mu again. We'll have to carry on without Charles. He'll be back shortly. So giving people just a short breather. Chun Mu is very... Um, Vigorous pattern. All right, let's line up for Chung Mu and then we're gonna do some wrapping up and some base, some basics and then wrapping up. Ready. And si jang. Charles, we're just doing Chung Mu one more time. So if you just hang tight. Oh, Chung Mu. Olin, that's a new part of the pattern I'm not familiar with. And 
end, everybody. Oh, Caduce, you just keep going because I know you've got a, a number of movements. All right, and everybody line up for some basics. Left leg forward fighting stance. Jump. Oh. Stepping forward, middle guarding block with knife hand. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Sa. Oh. Na. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Sa. Oh. Na. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Now it's knife hand strike in your L stance. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Sa. Oh. Na. Oh. Now when you are doing knife hand strike, trying to step back without hitting anybody. <laughs> beware of doing this. I see some people who are in their L stance, and I don't know that you're. I don't think you're necessarily aware that your shoulder is up. Shoulders should be level to the ground. Arms should not be up, should be level to the ground. Fighting stance, turn. Oh. Knife hand strike again in your L stance. Hana. Oh. <coughs> Do. Oh. Sat. Cross oh. and strike. Net. Oh. Fighting stance, turn. Oh. Now it's punching in your L stance. Hana. Oh. Really drop into that stance. Make that punch powerful. Do. Oh. Sa. Oh. Na. Oh. Fighting stance. Oh, no. You know what? Stay there. Stay looking toward your screen. Now doing the punch, stepping back. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Sa. Oh. Na. Oh. Stepping forward now. Uh, low block in a walking stance. Hana. Oh. Do. Cross oh. and block. Good. Set. Oh. Na. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Now it's low block, then a reverse punch. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Set. Oh. Na. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. High block walking stance. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Set. Oh. Na. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. High block then reverse punch. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Set. Oh. Na. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Stepping forward. Paro. Left leg forward fighting stance. Chip. Oh. This is a middle block in your L stance. Remember to cross before the block. Blocking hand is underneath when you block. L stance middle block. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Everybody's got this block. Set. Oh. Ne. Oh. Now I want you to do the same block. Keep an eye on your screen and you're stepping back. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. Sa. Oh. Ne. Oh. Stepping forward now, punching in your L stance again. Hana. Oh. Now from where you are, I want you to punch with the other hand. So, I'm here at a punch. Now I'm going to punch with this hand, but now my target's over here. It can't be in front of me because there's, I can't reach there. So it's over here. People who are doing one on this are very familiar to you. So now, stepping forward again, you're going to punch with that hand that just punched. Go. Up. Now punch with the other hand. Go. Now you're going to step forward and punch, punch. Go. Up. And another one. Go. Oh. Fighting stance turn. Oh. Now just the L stance punch. Hana. Oh. Do. Oh. 
Now stepping forward, just the backhand punches. Hana. Do. Fighting stance turn. Mixing things up a little bit there with the punching. Step forward, paro. All right. So now we're going to unmute. I'm going to do tips. Okay. So if everybody can be quiet, please, so we can give the tips out. This is honoring people who have done their, for the work that they've done. All right, okay, so we have a tip today for Allegra. Allegra's got a nice red tip today, congratulations. Okay, some of you may still have questions. Let's bow out. I'm going to come back to the screen and I will answer your questions, but we're going to bow out. All right. Everybody's up and ready. Facing the flags. Feet together. Chay up. 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 Congratulations, and I will see some of you guys tomorrow at the testing.